briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1908, the Supreme Court of the United States heard the case of Bob's Merrill Company v. Strauss, which involved a dispute between Bob's Merrill Company and R.H. Macy and Company. The case centered on whether copyright owners could control the retail price of their work after the first sale. Bob's Merrill owned the copyright to a book titled The Castaway and included a notice in each copy, stating that the book could not be sold for less than one dollar or it would be considered copyright infringement. Macy and Company purchased copies of the book at a wholesale price that was 40% lower than the retail price and 10% of the books at full price. Despite being aware of the copyright notice, Macy and Company proceeded to sell the books. The lower court ruled in favor of Macy and Company, and the case was appealed to the Supreme Court. The court ultimately decided that a copyright owner's exclusive right to sell their work was limited to the first sale only, and that they could not control future retail sales. The court reasoned that copyright statutes should be interpreted reasonably to protect the author's rights without depriving other entitled parties of benefits. As a result, Bob's Merrill's attempt to control the retail price of the castaway through the copyright notice was deemed unlawful. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.